So next thing I need to do is make a drive shaft for the LS swapped RX-7. So what I've got here, this drive shaft was what I originally made. It's got the TH350 and this is the original RX-7 drive shaft. I cut them and welded them together. This wasn't to drive with. This was just a mock-up so I could take it to a drive shaft shop and then they made me this one based on the length I needed. So what I'm going to do, because I need a drive shaft now that's shorter, and I marked it on this end, I need this flange surface to be right there. So instead of cutting up this drive shaft, which is still a good drive shaft, I'm going to chop this one again. I'm going to remove a section, make another mock-up, install it in the car, and then I can take this to a drive shaft shop and either shorten this one or get a new one made, which is probably what I'll do. So let me take a measurement from there to there, and then I'm going to cut it probably somewhere in here. It really doesn't matter. I'll leave this weld where it is and then just weld this tube back together. So it looks like when I made this drive shaft, I made it about a half inch shorter than my mock-up. I'm sure that was for the, maybe the slip fit was too far into the transmission. Uh, this one worked fine, so I'm just going to go a half inch more than what I have marked. Put me right there. So we're looking at about four and a half inches we need to remove out of this one. So we'll just go from there to there. So I'll just cut it there, cut it there, and then weld it back together. All right, now we're going to go up under the car and test fit this. So here's the half for the transmission. got this little stub end I'm going to stick onto the differential and then we'll see how close we are. Alright, so I got my little stub end loosely bolted to the rear flange. So now I'm just going to lift up the other half of the drive shaft and 
see where we're at. So holding this end up there, got about a half inch gap. I'm going to bottom out this end of the drive shaft up into the transmission again. Pull it out about a three quarter of an inch or so. Check it again, and I've got about another half inch gap. So I cut my shaft about a half inch too short, so I'm going to have to leave about a half inch space when I weld this back together. But it'll still give me a good mock-up that I can use. All right, I got the two halves of my drive shaft. I got some little pieces of L-angle I cut. L-angle is sort of self-centering when you push it onto a tube. So I'll use these to line it up, tack it all together. I'm going to leave these on since I need that half-inch gap right there. And then be ready to test fit it. All right, so there's our mocked up tacked together drive shaft. Might be kind of hard to tell, but with the L angles, it lines it up fairly good. Uh, if you need, like I said, this isn't really precise. It just needs to be an overall measurement for the drive shaft shop. So if you need to really align these, you can clamp the outer diameter around these with like a hose clamp or something, and that'll pull it in tight. But for mock up, this is good enough. All right, so I've got the drive shaft installed. I slipped it until it bottomed out, pulled it out about, give me about three quarter inch to half inch to three quarter pull out. So I shouldn't be bottoming out on anything in the transmission. Then in the back, I've got it pushed up against the flange tightly. So that looks like that length will be pretty much perfect. So drive shaft mock-up is done, and now it's off to the drive shaft shop to get a real one made.